Hello fellow citizens, my name is Tony, this is the 15 Minute Gaming Channel, and we are back with some Star Citizen. Merry Christmas Eve everyone, yes, the snow has fallen, it actually is outside right now. Oh, I could sing a song. The snow is falling all around me, children, you get the hint. Anyway, Star Citizen have bestowed on us a roadmap. <laughs> they finally did it. They've given us a roadmap update. We finally know what's coming in 3.13 and also the progress tracker. This isn't going to be the most interesting video because I'm not going to have fancy graphics in the background. This is to talk about the roadmap and see what's coming up. Now, the first thing you're going to be very excited about is, are you ready? The Hercules M2 and C2 is coming out in 3.13. Yes, finally. We've all been very excited for this, and some of us thought this might have been out in the last patch. It didn't, because, you know, the, well, when I say some of us thought, the fact it was in the promo videos for the Intergalactic Space Expo. I can see why some people maybe thought that. But anyway, it's in development. It doesn't say at what stage, but that's what we're going to look at next. So, we have the Hercules coming out, which is very exciting. So far, we have mounted guns as well. Which is very exciting. I'm excited for that. Core tech. We've got iCache. Convert legacy data management. So retarget all gameplay systems that use the i legacy press. Pre blah, 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 persist I'm starting drinking yet. Persistent data management system to iCache. iCache is on its way by looks of it. Very exciting. Um, locations. Non-commercial entrances to refinery stations. We've got Stanton system polish. Which is visual improvements to the Stanton system. We've got new asteroids, and we've also got drive-in sinkhole, <laughs> which just sounds like a very large hole in the ground. But again, we don't have anything like that in the game. That could be interesting to see what kind of ships we could get in there. Gameplay, force reactions, we're getting a few more of them. We're getting guidance control and um, missile rework. Vehicle name and serial numbers, which is great. So I can call my ship's very stupid name. Uh, visual degradation on the ship, so as you fly around, they'll look a bit older. Hacking tech is going to be improved, so we can have hacking in the game, which would be very good, because you'll be able to hack into the thing. Merlin Constellation Dogging, very excited about that. Missile Operator Mode, so you, your ability to select and fire specific missiles. Uh, low System Version 2, and Ship to Station Docking as well. So, so far, that's what's coming. That's not a full list. By any stretch of the imagination, things will be added to this. But, the exciting thing is the Progress Tracker. Now, this is just a lot of information. A hell of a lot of information. You can do quarter one or two quarters view, so you can see, like, are oh, they want this in quarter one or quarter two? Or you can just have it by the quarter, which is the 12 weeks so this will be leading up to patch 3.13 if you go to the two quarters view this will then be leading up to 3.14 give or take um there's nothing past that so you can see there we've only got the two quarters at the moment and um, there is a little bit into quarter three but there's not too much filled in past will we have a look will we have a look will we have a look we'll have a look right so how this is all split up is it gives you the department, so active feature team, active tech team, live mission content team, LZ1 content team, who knows what they are, mission feature team, squadron 42, so what they're working on, and so forth. So I've opened up the vehicle one was sort of the interesting one, so this is vehicle content for the US. And if we go down to the Hercules Starlifter, they have until the middle of March to get that done. So that's where they're on track to do. Um, so that means by the time 3.13 comes out, these guys should be done. We've got unannounced vehicles as well. So that's in January. So you've got two disciplines on there. If you click on there, it'll just say unannounced vehicle. They've got three weeks and that's design and tech content. And you can see how many people are working on it. You know, there's four people on there. The Taurus looks like they've got until March as well. So you can see their art, design, tech content, um, the Tonk, <laughs> the Tonk or the Tank, um, Squadron 42 vehicle support. So these guys are working on supporting enemy shit like Squadron 42. They've got enemy ships. So they've got 27 weeks, none that's coming particularly soon. 
Vandal Fleet. We've got the F7A, the Crusader St Irish Starliner. This is my most anticipated ship. By the looks of it, if we move along, that's coming into the quarter three patch. So we're a little bit time off that, but at least we know when it's coming now. We never need to know that. Um, the M2 we've discussed coming out at the same time as that. We've got our announced weapon capacitors, bug fixing, that sort of thing. Vehicle experience team, so that's going to tell you what they're working on and when it's due. So you'll be able to see what's coming up and when. I suppose the Squadron 42 is possibly the most interesting kind of thing. So you've got um, Squadron 42 art. Actually, Planet Content Team. That's exciting. Um, Stanton System Polish, they've got until... Well, they're going to go on a quarter or two. Uh, and Asteroids, we saw that before. Cave Improvements, we saw that before. Harvesting and Minerals is just like a task forever by the looks of it. Uh, sharp Angular Asteroid Packs, we've got Nukes too. So it looks like, if this is all coming into plan, uh, Pyro System is going to be for quarter three. Moving on to quarter four, so that could be Christmas, Christmas, Christmas time. So next year we could have that. Um, so yeah, you can see there, we're moving on. So moving on to like Squadron 42 art, so chapter one, tells you when they're going to kind of be ready. So they should have chapter one art done by April. And then there's the business breakers yard, is around about October. Um... If we look at Squadron 42 Social. So this will kind of be like the interactions. And they, they're they all going to be done, well, apart from that one, November sort of time. So you never know what that could mean. You never know what that could mean. Um, concept art. So maybe they're going to be some new things coming out. Obviously a lot are unannounced. They'll all be coming in. Vehicle content. The Gladius Gold Standard. That sounds interesting. So yeah, quite a few there. Uh, got Vehicle Tech Team. So they're looking at Vehicle Radar and Scanning for Quarter 1. Uh, One-Shot Triggers, Landing Gear, Springs, Bug Fixing, My Gate and Legacy Vehicles, F SDF Shields was the new thing they were talking about. Looks like it's coming in Quarter 2. Uh, boat Moot. Ooh, boats. Yay. <laughs> uh, vehicle to Vehicle Loadout Spawning. Uh, that's for quarter three by the looks of it. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot coming out. A lot of things. And I like this is a lot better than what we've got at the moment. Because it's going to be nice to see how this updates and changes. I hope they keep it updated and actually show when things are on target. And how it's going and where it's coming from. And it's just, I'm just looking for it. I'm like, oh yeah. So the small home outpost looks like July. Jump points, I mean, jump point is looking for quarter four. Yeah, because they'll need that before the pyro system jumps in. Hmm. Prisons version three. Interesting. Dynamic events. No, that's it. Okay. So dynamic events is quite late in 2021, by the looks of it. Mission feature te teams. They seem to be doing a lot of work at the beginning, so it looks like quarter one could be exciting. Got dynamic mission system coming in quarter three. Uh, Bounty Hunter. Yeah, we're not seeing that. <laughs> nope, no Bounty Hunters. Get rid of your Colors Blue and stuff. We've got a while off yet. Uh, ATC system does need a rework. Hopefully that's going to be done by quarter three by the looks of it. Um, let's see. Grim Hex Race. So they want that by quarter three as well. Prisons version three. I wonder what that entails. Updating the current prison locations to be more challenging to skip. What in ch challenging? I can't even escape the first one. Damn you! Ooh, dynamic population. All mine stones are in a turn. Ah, interesting. So that's going to be October. Of yeah, so that's going to not be until December. And last, we're just going to see what these are. So Orison version one. Orison's cost what? Yeah, that's going to be quite cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, do we know when that's coming in? So they want that by June. Interesting. I don't know if that means actually going to get done or whatever. Um, hacking. We've already seen that. Cave improvements, bug fixing, pyro space stations. So they're going to start in around about June. To So it could be, I think quarter four could be the time for pyro. By the looks of how I'm reading this so far. And then we've got some live mission content teams. Pyro system planet mission. Yeah, I think it's come for quarter four. Oh, that's exciting. 
So yeah, there we go. I just thought to take you through. It was just a more of a chat. It's coming up to Christmas. I can't say there's been too much over the Christmas period to talk about. Um, and so that'll probably be my last Star Citizen video for the year because I'm moving on to a little bit of um, DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. And uh going to be a few videos coming up on that. And then picking up Star Citizen probably in the new year with all the new features and chat. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.